you. much for honoring our invitation. You're welcome. Thanks for inviting me. Now, you're an actor, a producer, a casting director. Yes. <laughs> and a drama instructor. Yes. How have you been able to evolve through all these roles in the industry? Um, first of all, um, I don't know that there was a plan or like a map. Okay. But knowing that, you know, when you feel like I'm going to explore everything that is on my inside and I would push to do those things to the best of my abilities. I think that's my story. So I started off as an actor and then I worked in a lot of departments when I started off. And then I realized I liked putting things together and making things happen. And then Jackie Silva asked me one day to come and teach on her faculty. And then I realized that um, I come across a lot of talent. I'm able to look at a script and be like, oh, this person will work here, this person will work here. So I'm like, let's make this thing into you know, money. And I became a casting director. So. Yeah, it's, so it's just like so many times, like today I'm coming from an audition, somebody goes like, so are you auditioning or are you casting? What are you? I'm like, no, I'm here as an actor, I'm auditioning. You know, so for me, it also makes my, my career very interesting. You recently won the Trailblazer Award. Yes. Africa's biggest uh, movie award show, the AMBCA. Mm -hmm. And I, li I liked the inclusion of your previous directors and mentors. Yes. And speech. Yes. Uh, it's interesting how you started in the industry not knowing anybody. But now you know everything. <laughs> How do you do it? Uh, I'm a hustler. <laughs> I'm a hustler. Like, don't even get it twisted. I'm a hustler. I don't quit. I don't stop. I don't take no's. If I want something, I will get it. Except the Lord says no. And my, my idea of the Lord saying no is I have done my best. Mm -hmm. I have done every mm -hmm. single thing. And I still don't get it. Then I'll be like, Lala, it's probably not for you. So... Um, my 11th commandment is know thyself is not a cause. And so knowing who I was and what I wanted was very instrumental to getting to know everybody. So I would write down everything. I want to work with this person. I want to do this. I want to do that. Because deciding how I wanted to, the kind of actor I wanted to be and the kinds of actors I wanted to be like said um, I had to, you know, have a good foundation in theater because all of them are great on stage. So it was deliberate. So who are the great directors on stage? Who are the people doing relevant things on stage right now? I had my list. And I went for all the auditions. You are looking for them. Hello, hi. You know, classic example, Tunde Kelani. Okay. I went to his office. I, I, I found the address. But before I went, I had been acting for a while. Okay. I went to his office in 2000. So you had something to work. Yes. I went to 2010. At the time, I was deciding to do my master's at the Pan-Atlantic University in Media and Communication. My choice, I mean, I couldn't afford to go abroad, but I was like, okay, this school, I'll go to this school because it also had, the, the pedigree was good. And I'm like, if I walked into a room of influencers in media and I say that I'm a graduate of this school, I'm a student of this school, they would pay attention mm -hmm. to me. My name will not be enough. Mm -hmm. So and he had been doing some lectures with the school. So I kind of booked an appointment. I'm a master's student of media and communication. Right. From this, I'd like right. to see you, sir. And I'm a scholar, and he's also somebody who is, always ready to teach and things. So that day, good afternoon, sir. This is me. This is what I'm studying. This is what I've been doing. And I want to act. This is what I want to become. And I want to work with you. And he found it really funny. Of course. He found it really funny. But he didn't, he didn't push me away. He, didn't, he was shooting Mami at the time. And then he said, ah, we are shooting already. I don't have any roles for you. Do you want to learn how to use the camera? I said, no. He said, do you want to learn cinematography? I said, no. I said, I want to be in front of the camera. He said, ah. I don't have anything right now. I said, okay. And that's the thing. You have to also respect people, especially when they're being honest. And he said, okay, no problem. And I said, thank you. But I wasn't done with him, you know. Mm -hmm. So I took his number, but he told me I could call him anytime. I could ask questions. And then I met him at another film festival. I made sure to check introduced me to him. You know, just, yeah. So he's, hello. Hi. Well, this what is do what you I think need. it was about you that, made him respect you enough to have that conversation? I mean, first of all, I was studying, I was doing a second degree. I was a master's this student. Yes. So, you know, when people say some things, and you know, artists in particular, and I, I can only speak about artists in Nigeria because that's the community I'm familiar with. You know, sometimes this same, um, you know, we are, we are artists, let's be rough, arts, arts, let's express. It's rubbish sometimes. Comport yourself, package yourself. When you step into a room with a banker, don't let them look at the banker and look at you and be like, ah, those artists, that's how they are. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Everything I do is strategic. 
like somebody will say, why do you take this role? I'm like, because I want to be in this cast list and work with this person. So after we've worked together, I may have done something small, but I'm in that person's network and I'm in that circle and I'll be associated with them and then we can build greatness from there. And there's no hurry.